Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you a demo of some of the latest features of Evoto version 3.7, which was released on August 22nd, 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. The first feature is the right click. Open with Evoto. Now you can directly open an image from File Explorer. Just right click on an image and then select Evoto. It will automatically create a project inside Evoto. Then you can start editing. For this image, I will apply my own preset. As you can see, it did not remove all the dark spots. So in this case, we need to use the healing brush tool right here above. Then we just manually paint on the dark spots like so. Then click OK. And we're done retouching this image. The next feature is in background enhancement. Under the preserved area, you now have the option to select subject, plus related objects, plus non-connected objects. Let me show you. So we go to the background adjustment section, then pick a backdrop that we want. Let's select fabric 2. And then here under preserved area, we select subject plus related objects plus non-connected objects. So now we can see the shoes in this photo, but we need to make some other adjustment to make it more natural. I'll increase the edge adjustments and decrease the opacity. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. Again, let's modify the edge adjustment some more. About 32 is good. And now we have effectively replaced the background quickly and easily. The next feature is AI Headshot Crop. So we go to the Crop section, click on the drop-down box and scroll all the way down to AI Headshot Crop. Now let's choose the 2x2 preset. Then click OK. Now to sync this AI crop with the rest of the images, make sure that the first cropped image is selected and to hold the Control key and click all the images that you want to crop and then click Sync. Then just wait for all the effects to be applied. And that is how to use the AI Headshot Crop. The next feature is also related to the crop section, and it is called AI Horizon Correction. Let's try it on this image. So we go to the crop section, and here we can see the AI Horizontal Correction, then click Auto. Well, as you can see, it did not correct the horizon, but this is a good start. We can then adjust the angle by dragging the bounding box and moving the angle slide right here. And now the horizon is perfectly leveled. Then we click OK. So looks like the AI horizon correction needs some improvement. The next feature is hair color change. So we go to the hair section, scroll down to hair color, then just pick any color that we want. Let's go over some of these colors real quick. Okay, let's select H2. Then we can adjust the amount slider like so. We can also darken or lighten the hair, as you can see. And this is the final result. It looks good in my opinion. Another new feature is the head pose. So we go to facial reshape section, then we can immediately see the head pose function. So we can adjust the vertical position. The horizontal position. In tilt angle. And this is the effect. Let's zoom in. Please be careful when using this function. Make sure to apply subtle changes only. The next new feature is also under Facial Reshape section, and it is called M Shape Lips. So we go to Facial Reshape, click on Mouth, and there you will find the new M Shape Lips slider. So feel free to play around with this setting. Let's zoom in. That set is all the way to 100. Okay, this looks unnatural, so let's decrease it a little bit. Sixty-four looks good. And the last new feature of Evoto 3.7 is called neck length. So we go to the full body reshape section, then scroll down to the neck length slider right here. Again, please be subtle when using this function. These types of effects are case-to-case -case basis. 
Keep in mind that in photo editing, less is more. Never exaggerate or overdo your edits. And those are the latest features of Evoto version 3.7. Do you find them useful or not? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more Evoto videos like this, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.